My name is Glenn. Um, I do quite a few things. Music seems to be the one that people know me for. Um, yeah, I came to hear Darkest House speak, actually, and um, two guys didn't turn up, so I'm here talking. Uh, yeah, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, racism has, uh, has not changed, it just morphs, so it's just, I just experience it in different ways. And in this country it's very passive aggressive, so it really messes with you in a psychological kind of way. And if you speak up, you're an angry black man. Um, so you're trapped in a lot of, and you're just trapped here. So I don't know, we talk about it because the Americans are speaking about it. But um, our discussion is very different to the American situation, I think we need to understand that that we're not African-Americans. We're, we're here and we have a different trauma and a different history. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm in mind, actually, I want to move on to talk about, you know, is we are in the wake of the fifth anniversary of Mark Duggan's unfortunate uh, passing away. Um, how important do you think it is for artists to, you know, project and act as a megaphone for everything that's happening within society. And have, do you think that that has increased or do you reckon there needs to be more of that? I'm gonna put that question to, I'm gonna say Dean Blunt. Yeah, uh, um, sorry, ask that again. Sorry, I didn't think you were gonna say that to me. <laughs> yeah. um, how, has movie, how has music moved on in, in order to amplify the message, essentially? Um, I don't know, I think, um, I don't know. It has. I think they should have a responsibility. I don't think anyone should necessarily have a responsibility unless they really mm. feel it. Um, because, like, if it's not real, it's really not going to be real in the end, at the end of the day. Mm. Like, flexing or whatever, really, nothing's really changing. Like, I think there are a lot of rappers and stuff that say, I do my thing on a day to day. And if you really do believe in politics, I think you just do it on a day to day and you mm. help your people out. And I don't think you need to. You can if you want to, but you have to really, like, mean it, I guess. Like, I don't, know. I don't know. It depends on the audience as well. I think the audience needs to be kind of smart. And it's not just about talking about racism. It's, it's, you've got to be kind of educated before you go into that. So a lot of rappers or a lot of people, I, mean, I watch a lot of Breakfast Club, that's why I say a lot of rappers, um, specifically that get asked about this, they, they don't want to do it. And it's, I kind of agree because they don't really understand the complexities of why they're even so hyper-masculine or why they are the way they are. They shouldn't really get involved in that, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's better for you to be more educated before you do that, so no. Nah. I mean, I don't think that they, there's a, a responsibility as in they should have to, but no. it's like you're saying, I think, if you've got it in you and you believe yeah, in something, it's it, really important. Sure. Like, I remember seeing something where ASAP Rocky yeah. said, you know, I don't believe in Black Lives Matter, and I'm like, well, to be honest, we only really cared about you because of, like, your dress sense and you had a few wavy tunes. We never really looked at you <laughs> as a role model anyway. Like, for me, I don't see you as a role model, so that's not what I know and love you for, so right. it's not what I'm going to you for. Mm. Whereas someone like Novelist, who was the young mayor of Lewisham, you know, I would expect to hear you talk about something like that. I would want to hear you talk about something like that. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, when I hear you talk about something like that, I believe in it. Yeah, and yeah. when you say something that maybe I don't understand, yeah. I can then go and read up on that. And it's my responsibility then to say, I like Novelist, I like this tune, I'm going to go and have a, have a look at what he's talking about and how this may or may not affect me. Yeah. And that conversation starts there. If they don't make the tune, then there's going to be no conversation, yeah, there's going to yeah, be no yeah. education. Yeah. I mean, I like, I remember Dead Prayers really affecting mm. me listening to that, like mm. having to listen to it every morning. Mm. So, but they meant it and they're mm. not popular guys. So mm. like, mm. you know, that's, that's, that's it. So that was the last time where it really mattered to me and I heard music and it like, what they were saying really ran true. But those guys weren't popular and they got shut down by the system, so mm. I don't know. I mean, I think, sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I know that there's like frustrations and everything like that, and I understand that, but what I'd really like to see and hear is how everybody, especially you first, but like how we move forward and how we can educate the next generations and what we can do so we don't go back to like five years ago where we're causing riots and everything like that and i understand that that was built out of frustration and yes there's definitely police uh, racism but i'm just wondering how do we go for the positive and how do we move forward together how do we unite i think that the problem is not about police the problem is the fear of the black body and what happens when you're scared of something is that you try to exterminate it. If you give a gun to someone, they shoot it. So it's nothing to do with police. I think people need to kind of like go back to understand the fear of just black people. And, and even black people as well understand that it's nothing to do with police. I think it's more about us and how what? we behave. Sorry? 
I don't think it's about police. Oh, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't, about to I don't think. I don't think marching. I don't, I don't think playing. What is talking I, about? Stop one second. I don't think marching, listen to Kendrick Lamar on Oxford Street, is really going to solve it. I don't think so. Not at all. That's my opinion, and I think I think that's part of it. But I think also that we need to think as well, and I think um, understanding why, like what blackness is, and the fear of blackness, and why these people are being shot is primary as to. Why are we marching about American police? It's not going to stop anything. Mm. That's all I'm saying. It's really not. Um, I'm sorry, go for it. Yeah. You um, right or you deal with core, the core core problem, but you fuck all that. I think. Shit. What's that? Well, no, black, no, is no, a con no. black is a contract. There's a lot of shit within being black that's, 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 that's messed up. There's this, this contract. We've got to question everything that yeah. we've been yeah, told yeah. about us being black. Yeah. There's a lot of homophobia. Yeah. There's a lot of dominance in it. Mm -hmm. It's not cool. So if you're, if you're talking about like you know within the black movement, there's a lot of homo there's a lot of dominance against you know over women, over women. That's something that can't be. So how are you supposed to like that has to be addressed first. So if you're a black man on this day and the police kicks down your door and stops and searches you ten times a day, you're going to say I need to question my black. I'm not saying he no, needs to question his no, black. No, I'm no, saying no, that a bunch wait, of kids no, that are no. smart don't need to march on Oxford Street. I playing Kendrick Lamar to stop it. And why are you not looking at me when we're talking about this? I think this needs to be addressed in itself. If we're meant to move together as people and we're coming to have a black discussion yeah. like, within ourselves, we're arguing. I think that is... I wasn't arguing. But there's, 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 there's this joint within us as a community. So if we're trying to move together to say like everything should be equal, I think there, there's things within us as a community that need to be... I hear you. But, but I do Afro feel... Punk on again, no. Afro's out, it's not changing it. Man. But like, it's not really it. doing it. In diary, that shit ain't changing it, man. That's old. Black black rebellion of the seventies is not what we're talking I about. I am going anymore. to move this on. I've got two questions over. No, can I say what I was going to say? Please, can I say? One second. Can I say what I was going to say? Because I do feel that, like, you know, what we want, we've never seen, and I think that's like really important. Like, what we want, we have never seen. I have never seen a world where black people, people like me, are free. Yeah, so you have that. to be willing to be in a position of not knowing. Yeah. Like, that, that, like, for me, that's really it. Like, yeah, even this same. idea of being present, for me, like, I feel being present is one of the most dangerous things that I can do having a black body. The you present is it. not safe for me. Like, I can only really live in my imagination and try and to depict a world I've never seen and hoping that either I will get there or I am slick enough to pass the baton before I don't get there. Mm. Like, I, that's it. Like, I, it's... Can I say that's not Afrofuturism because that's no, been done I didn't already? Say no, no, I'm not talking about you. Well, I'm yeah. just saying oh, someone will say to someone me, will, that's yeah, Afrofuturism. Exactly. Yeah, that's not because that was the 70s. That's yeah, what we're talking about. We're talking about something new that's undefined. Sorry. I'm going to move that's things That's the whole idea. I'm, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to move sorry, things sorry, on. Yeah. There's two questions over there you've been patiently waiting. Uh, do you want to stand up as well, just so everyone can see? Hi. Um, yeah, I just want to make two points quickly. No, one point and then a question to Darkus. Thank you to the panel as well for coming down. I appreciate the fact that guys come here to have this discussion and um, one point I want to make is that one thing I have noticed is that there is a lot of like infiltration when it comes to our culture when it comes to black culture whether it's music and all the arts because we have a lot of brands that are buying into you know the culture and um, a lot of us up-and-coming artists and creatives are looking at these artists thinking that's where we need to be we need to be endorsed by these certain brands or whatever whereas there was a time when a lot of artists were making music to empower for empowerment's sake. So I know we don't have that a lot now, but that could change, you know. And there are artists out there that are demonstrating how it could be done. And not Kanye West. Yep. Not Kanye West. Sorry, 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 Just saying, just saying, just saying. Bro, like, you keep on talking over. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Please, 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 carry on. For us as a generation who use it as such a massive tool to understand that the same technology that is in Facebook is the same technology that like G4S are using to imprison black and brown bodies, like never make those disconnections. Can I say this talk is a bit pointless? Um, I think that this is the whole thing, is that an hour and a half talking about this shit is not how it works. Mm. So it's completely pointless. So what are you doing? Uh, I was here to see Darkest talk actually, and I got asked to come here because of the grime MCs. Come on, bro. No, I already told you. I already told you what I was here before. I gave a disclaimer for that, so don't, don't, mm. don't, don't, don't. Moving on, bro. Yeah. Moving let's, on. Anyway, moving, moving on. on. Um, seeing as we're running out of time, I think it'll be really important to get uh, a closing statement from from everyone on the panel. Um, before that, it's like, what is the end game for for Black Lives Matter in your opinion? <laughs> What 
Um, let's get a closing statement on, on For the me, sanity that. Um, I just think that there's only so much um, one person can do just in, in everything that you do. And for me, it's about, you know, manoeuvring in my own space to make